This question belongs to operating system subject it was asked in ACSE 1991. So the question states, choose the correct alternatives, more than one may be correct and write the corresponding letters only. Indicate all the false statements from the statements given below. We need to tell which all are false. So option A, the amount of virtual memory available is limited by availability of secondary memory. Any implementation of a critical section requires the use of indivisible machine instructions such as test and set. The LRU page replacement policy may cause scratching for some type of programs. The best fit techniques for memory allocation ensures that the memory will never be fragmented. So let us see all the options one by one. So what is a virtual memory? So suppose we have hard disks. Hard disks generally comes in what size? They comes in 1 TB or 1024 GB of hard disk. Now we have certain processes. Processes come in what size? We might have a 100 GB game. We might have a 150 GB software. We might have a 10 GB file. And what are the sizes of RAM that comes? This is secondary memory. This is main memory. Size of RAM is generally 32 GB or 64 GB. Let us assume best case 64 GB. They can be more but generally we are using this much size RAMs only. And in household computers we are easily using games of size 100 GB. So, can we accommodate this entire 100 GB into this 64 GB? No. So, what we do? We divide it into pages. We divide the 100 GB process, 100 GB process into pages. Let us suppose of 10 GB each. And we divide the main memory into frames. And we allocate some of the pages to the main memory frame as per the need. So, we can accommodate it. But this entire process need to be in secondary memory, 100 GB. Which means, this 1024 should be at least greater than 100 GB, which means secondary memory size should be at least greater than equal to process size. Or basically all processes size. All processes size. So, the amount of virtual memory, which means the size of process available is limited by availability of secondary memory. Yes, this is true. Now, let us see option B. What option B states? So option B says, any implementation of critical sec section requires the use of indivisible machine instructions such as test and set. Okay. So we have certain approaches for critical section. First are hardware based approach which require any support from the hardware. And the second one are software based. Now hardware based, even the semaphore is a hardware based solution. Even we have interrupt based solutions. We have TSL, which is test set log based solution. These are all hardware. But we also have purely software solutions like Peterson Elbow. It's a purely software based elbow. Let me show you the elbow. So this is the Peterson Elbow. So how it works? It takes a turn variable flag and false. And this is the program which process one need to execute P0. And this is which the second process need to execute P1. And it makes sure that we have critical section solved for this problem. But this is a purely hardware based solution, not a software based solution. Thus, the option is saying any implementation requires the use of indivisible machine instruction. But Peterson does not require any support from hardware. So this option is false. Now let us see option C. So what option C is saying? Option C is saying the LRU page replacement policy may cause stretching for some type of programs. So what is LRU? LRU is least recently used algo. And what is thrashing? Thrashing is a condition in which most of the time is spent, spent in resolving the resolving the page fault. Page fault time is very high which means we are getting very much page faults now let us see how lre works suppose we have the request frames as 1 2 3 4 then again 1 2 3 4 then again 1 2 3 4 but main memory has just three frames allotted for this process so what we will do first we will allot one Okay, then we will allot 2, then we will allot 3. Now when we come to 4, we see the main memory is full. 
all the frames have been alerted so we remove the least recently so least recently used we see which one was the least recently used. so we remove one and put over here four then again one came so as again one came so we need to see the least recently used two we remove two and then put one over here then two came so we need to remove the least recently used we remove three and put two over here then again when three comes we remove this and put three over here thus we are seeing that we are having one page fault every time okay so why this happened this happened because after one two three when four came so when we removed one for four then again one was referred in the next clock cycle so if the removed page is referred again in the next iteration then the LRE page replacement policy will cause thrashing so option C is also true now let us see what option D is saying so option D says the best fit techniques for memory allocation ensures that memory will never be fragmented okay so what is best fit technique let us suppose we have a memory like this now we have certain partitions this is a let us suppose 10 kb partition this is 20 kb partition this is 33 kb partition and this is 13 kb partition now we have certain requests let us suppose we have a 10 kb request we have a 12 kb request then we have a 30 kb request then we have a 40 kb request let us suppose 40 35 kb request yeah okay so what happens is that let me do it 14 yeah now it will be perfect so best fit means we will allot the minimum size available to a given process so 10 kb we see the minimum minimum is 10 can it allot completely yes so it's done and dusted now 12 kb the minimum is 14 so we will allot here 12 and this 2 will be wasted so what is this this is called internal fragmentation and it can't be used again now we have 30 kb so minimum is 20 not allotted this 33 so here we will allot 30 kb and 3 will be internally fragmented internal fragmentation let us suppose it came to be 25 now we have 25 now 20 space is not available but see here we have 20 kb here we have wasted 3 kb here we have 2 kb so entirely is 25 kb which is less than equal to our required but still we are not able to allot so we have external fragmentation so is fragmentation problem there yes so the question is saying the best fit techniques for memory allocation ensures that memory will never be fragmented this is false as we both have internal fragmentation as well as external fragmentation so uh, we need to tell which all are false so the false statements are b and d so answer is b and d